Howdy from Texas, this is Heath Hippel with Bugs Fishing and this is the weekly update. It has been a while and so I'll tell you what's been going on with me and around here. Uh, first production updates, we are working on curl tail jigs right now at the factory. We just got a shipment the other day, we got stocked back up on black gold, blue crab, glow chartreuse and so we'll be working through all the col colors of curl tail jigs, we'll have those in stock. Next we'll be working on beastie bugs and then after that we'll be working on clickbait shrimp and so definitely staying busy at the factory. I know we've been behind for a while but the thread is starting to come in that we were missing for a while and so uh, and I've told you all this before the ladies they get right to work as soon as they have materials and so they're never the issue. It, the issue is getting materials and so we are getting caught back up. I really appreciate your patience with that and so staying busy at the factory. Um, a been working on some tarpon bugs um, and like bigger, bigger, heavier jigs uh, for a little bit deeper water and for really big fish and I'm going to show you some of the jig heads that Brian Arnold of Bird of Prey Fishing Tackle has sent me. Uh, he sent me several colors of circle uh, tarpon jig heads with circle hooks and so circle hooks work great for tarpon both for hooking them and then for releasing them unharmed and so circle hook is a great way to go on a tarpon jig and Brian Arnold at Bird of Prey Fishing Tackle does a great job and so I have my buddy Jeremy McHugh Stillwater Fishing Charters out of Mississippi he's been fishing them he's gotten some He's gotten some hits and he'll be fishing those all summer. I'm going to put a link to his business and to Brian's business in the description below. Jeremy's a great guy to go fishing for tarpon and uh, Brian does a great job on those jig heads. And so that's a project I'm working on right now. So it's been a while. So if we were to hang out and talk fishing, you said, hey, Heath, what's been going on with you this summer? I will tell you. Um, Two fish broke my heart this summer. Um, I went all the way down to Belize and I've always wanted to catch a permit, especially on a, a jig that I tied. Permit are notoriously hard to fool with a jig and this was going to be a place where we would have a bunch of shots at permit. Went down to Belize, we stayed at this place called Tarpon Sands and there's this place in Belize um, not far from the airport. It's uh, called Miami Beach. And what it is, it's this, uh, this flat off of this, I don't even know if it's, I guess it's a piece, no, it's an island. There's this island and there's this bit long flat anywhere from like thigh deep to a little bit over waist deep. And it's a mixture of sand and grass. And we set up, you set up there and you see, you get, you see schools of permit come through. You see schools of tarpon come through. You also see single you know singles of both of those fish but it's a great place to sight cast these awesome game fish and so i got i went down there i got four shots at small groups of permit um, one time they just flat out ignored me uh, two times one of them broke from the pack they checked it out and then they kept on swimming and then i got an eat so I got to eat and then he started peeling line really, really fast. Um, and just instinctively, I was fishing a medium light rod because I had to fish a smaller jig. Instinctively, I'm like, I'm like, I need to tighten the drag so I don't get spooled. So if you say, Heath, was he anywhere close to spooling you? No, he wasn't, but it was just instinct. He was peeling line. And so I tightened down just a little bit on the drag and boom, my, the knot that goes from braid to leader snapped. And so, broke my freaking heart, I'm not going to lie. But, instead of like breaking my rod over my knee, throwing it away, quit fishing and going to play golf, which would be a terrible idea, I have to, I have to take some comfort that I tied a jig that a permit ate. I tied a jig that a permit would eat. I made a good cast to a school of permit. I worked it and he freaking ate it. And so I have to take comfort in that. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a picture that I took in the water. Um, but I got a permit to eat a bug. I just didn't land him. And so I will be back someday. I don't know when, but 
I'll get another shot. And so that was the biggest heartbreak of the summer. Um, a minor heartbreak, I, I went up to Wyoming with my family this summer and the last, we had a great time. We went to Yellowstone, saw the Tetons. It was really nice. The last afternoon we were there, I took my boys. We walked along the Snake River in Grand Teton National Park for a few hours and fished. And I got a Snake River cutthroat to eat one of my streamer bugs that I tied. And I didn't have a net with me. He was right along the bank. We watched him go back and forth. I was trying to play him and he, he spit it. Like he got off right there at the bank. So that was a, I would have loved to have caught that fish also. Um, but that was a minor heartbreak. Nothing compared to going to Belize and losing that permit. And so if we were hanging out and you said, how's your summer been? It's been great, it's, you know, Great family-wise, great business-wise, fishing has been tough. Like I kind of stink at fishing right now, and so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to redeem myself here pretty soon. Um, if you have a tale of heartbreak or a huge, awesome ac fishing accomplishment from the summer, I'd love to read it. Um, put it in the uh, put it in the comment section. That'd be awesome to read. So um, I'm glad to have. My buddy Rex helping me with these videos. Um, got a little bit of a break, but we're going to be doing this on the regular. And so I'm, I'm glad to be able to communicate with you guys again. We're working on curl tails, all the you know, beastie bugs, and then clickbait shrimp, all the best stuff. Appreciate your patience on that. Um, I'll, let, I'll give you tarpon jig updates when I have them. And uh, the, the Ned Bugs, th that project is complete. Those are all in the online store. Um, fresh water and salt water. So if you haven't checked them out already, I really appreciate if you would do that. So great to talk to you. Thank you for your support and patience. Be free, be wise, be blessed. Catch you later.